and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a soap thinking of spring and summer coming uh, using this fragrance. It's called Blue Mist from Wholesale Supplies Plus and this smells really nice. It's very fresh. It has sort of ozone, salty, oceany. It's just kind of outdoorsy. It says in the description that it has like scents of seagrass and sand amber. I don't know what that smells like, but it does sort of evoke that kind of a picture in my mind when I smell it, blue mist. And so with the name of that in mind, the colors that I want to use today are uh, Azure Blue from Wholesale Supplies Plus and Blue Skies Mica from Be Scented. I just got this. I haven't used this one yet. But I thought those two together, swirled together, I thought would just, oh, it kind of went with the scent for me. Um, this is gonna be a goat milk soap. I will do the milk in oil method and I'll talk you through that as we do it. Uh, this fragrance says that it doesn't cause acceleration or separation, but it discolors to light yellow. So I may add a little TD in there. I'm not sure how I'm gonna proceed with that yet. I'm gonna see how it behaves. I've never used this fragrance before, so you're coming along, let's give it a whirl. Um, it smells great and I just feel like the ocean today. I am landlocked here in Tennessee and the ocean sounds good to me. So let's do this soap, thinking of the ocean, gonna get everything pulled together, get my hair pulled back, safety gear on. Let's make some soap. So I've got all of my oils and butters melted together here and I'm gonna be adding my additives. I've got my fragrance off to the side cause I've not worked with this one before, but it is very yellow, just the fragrance color and it says that it does discolor to light yellow. So um, I will probably add some TD to the uncolored portion uh, to abate that. Cause I, you know, I want it more on the whiter side. Anyway, let's get forward here. I've got my wonderful farm fresh goat milk to go in the oils here and I have discounted for this liquid portion water discounted for this from the lye solution which is off to the side cooling okay and then I've got my kale and clay and my colloidal oats and I get asked why I add these. I just like how they feel in the finished bar. Um, the colloidal oats is such a fine grind that it doesn't really add any exfoliating factor. I just think it's very skin soothing. Um, I love the kale and clay, the feel of it in the lather. I just like how it is in the finished bar. So that's why I add it in just about all of my soaps. You'll see me doing that, so that's why. Now I'm gonna get these blended in and let them sort of absorb and I'll go get the lye mixture when it's cooled and we'll move forward. So we're ready to move forward here. It's been a couple of minutes. I let all the dry ingredients just fully absorb in here and it's a nice smooth milk and oil batter. So now I'm going to add my lye solution and I went ahead and added about a half a teaspoon of titanium dioxide in here just because of how yellow this fragrance color is. Um, so there's a half teaspoon of TD, there's two tablespoons of cane sugar, there's tufts of silk fibers and you can't really measure them because they're so light so it's about a cotton ball size of tussa silk fibers and sodium lactate and you can use sodium lactate at a rate of one half teaspoon to one teaspoon per pound of oils in your soap batter. Um, those are the recommended uh, usage rates for all the wonderful properties of sodium lactate. It really helps to unmold your soap the next day. It, it hardens your bar quicker. So there's that. All right, we're ready to roll. I'm gonna hand stir this in and then I will stick blend after I get the colors um, I'll, you know, mixed in and I think I'm going to do an in the pot swirl. I just want this very swirly just to sort of evoke, a, you know, sea, oceany, but I'm not trying to do like a beach theme. So I thought an in the pot swirl would, would be perfect in this application. And then on the top, I just want to do some little divots with the spoon, look like little choppy waves maybe. That's what I'm thinking. We'll see how this behaves. Again, I haven't used this fragrance, but we will see it got decent reviews and it smells fantastic. <laughs> so I'm just hoping it doesn't yellow this up too much. I would like the uncolored portion to be on the lighter side. I don't mind if it's a creamy color. I don't need a bright white, but you know, I would like to kind of ebate that yellow a little if I can. 
All right, we've got some emulsion here, so I'm going to pour off into my containers here. These containers are from Websteron. It's where I got my curing rack on an earlier video. Um, they're just really nice, and they have the measurements on the sides, which is very helpful. So, um, and this one is from Amazon. There's a link for these below, and these are from Websteron. I don't think I have a link. I might leave a link for those. If you, if you want a link for the Websteron, I'll leave it for you. Let me know. They have great prices on... Um, you know, supplies, beakers, and, and things. They, it's a great resource for soapers. There we go. And this is my pre-mixed titanium dioxide. It is one part water soluble TD to two parts water and because I don't use this right away I do put a little optifen in there um, but if you're gonna make up just one portion at a time you don't need a preservative but because this sits for you know a week or more sometimes I like to have my preservative in there so it's all just I just like how easy it is to grab but um, it's just a personal preference how you like to approach it so let me see I'm gonna oh let's get the blues in Losing my train of thought here. When I get to talking sometimes, I forget what I'm doing. All right, here's my blue from Be Scented, which, oh, wow, look at that. So pretty. All right. And here's my azure blue. That, oh, okay, I got to be honest. This is one of my favorite. I love teal colors, aquas and teals. This is right up my alley. Love it. It's the next day and uh, let's get in here and see how that in the pot swirl came out. I am just thinking the colors are so pretty and they look like little choppy waves. I'm hoping it's just swirly and lovely on the inside.
cut off my end piece and I am loving, I love in the pot swirl. It's so cool because once in a while you get something like that. Isn't, isn't that just beautiful? Sorry, I'm not gonna drop the soap, I promise. I just think that's so pretty. Anyway, the fragrance name is Blue Mist. I think I'm gonna call these Ocean Mist because I want you to think of the ocean when you smell them because they have that sort of ozone, outdoorsy, fresh scent. There's just something really cool about the random in the pot swirl. And then it's got the little peaks, water peaks on the top. These to me are just evoke ocean vibes. I think the fragrance, the colors, Let's take a look here closer at these colors. So it's hard to discern that there's two different blues, but there is. So down here you can kind of see it. And they muddy it a little. It just kind of gives it dimension. I actually really love that. So you can, if you look close, see the different color blues, but together they just make such a pretty swirly look. I like the overall effect. Um, the fragrance is a little lighter today than it was um, out of the bottle, but it still smells very good. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's a little like rectangle swirl. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just outdoorsy, kind of fresh. So yeah, I'm very happy. And I am still just really loving the goat milk in oil or any milk. I do it with coconut milk too, but the milk in oil method um, has just made my soap prep a little bit easier. It makes my lye prep easier. So I have been really enjoying that method and um, the finished bars I think are wonderful. There's still plenty of milk in there to get all that, you know, goodness. The reason we put milks in soaps, it's all still in there. So I think it's great. I've really been enjoying doing that. The little rectangle side swirl is cracking me up. And that's the thing with in the pot swirl, it's so random. It's just, it's fun to cut because you never know. You can't predict what in the pot swirl is gonna do and I love that. Makes me happy. Hope it makes you happy too.